in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the College Conversations podcast. I'm your host, Ben Jordan. Thanks to everyone who's been listening to the podcast recently. We just hit 500 total views and a bunch of subscribers. Um, thanks to everyone. Almost 100 followers on Twitter as well. Make sure you follow us there at College Conversations Podcast. Anyways, today I'm joined by a very special guest, someone who has traveled the whole world, speaks like 27 languages, oh my God. lived all <laughs> over. Aisha is here with me today, and she's got a great story. Um, so, so many stories, I'm sure. Yeah. But Aisha, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? You're from Finland. I am. That's the main topic of this podcast, from mm -hmm. Finland to America for this episode. So, yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm Aisha. I'm also a global studies major, just like Ben, minoring in TESOL and political science, and I'm currently a junior. Yeah, and I moved here to the States from Finland about four and a half years ago, close to five years now. It's been a it's been a roller coaster. Let's say that. <laughs> yeah. So you were born there and lived there for eighteen years. Eight. So all the way up. You graduated high school there. Then, no. I so I moved here in the middle of my senior year. I started senior year in Finland, and then I moved here in October, which was in the middle of the school year, um, and started high school here in November. Gotcha. Yeah. And what was the reason for the move? My stepfather lives here. Um, so we just thought it would be easier for us to relocate here than for him to Finland. We speak English. We were kids. It would be easier to adapt as well. Um, yeah. Th that's a really cool. Um, I don't know too much about Finland mm -hmm. other than that, like the quality of living is super high, that it's way up north, Scandinavian type living. I know they get like tons of holidays and, or maybe not holidays, but like days off. Yeah. And I think we get, we did get a lot more days off there than here. I mean, we did celebrate stuff like we had what, um, like a fall break, which was a week long. We did get the winter holiday, which is probably the same amount as here. We got also like in between, um, was it Easter and Christmas? We did get like a small break in February as well. We got Easter off. So there was a lot, yeah. And your school days are a lot shorter too, I think, right? It depends. Um, in elementary school, they typically are a lot shorter, um, usually from like 9 to 12 maybe. Wow. Once you get to like 5th and 6th grade, that's when they start to pick up. High school is pretty much the same as here, I would say. But the class, the classes are longer. I believe here in my high school, our classes were about 45 minutes to 50 minutes long. In Finland, it's 75 minutes. Okay, so yeah. a little bit longer. Yeah. But, but you, you have less classes, which is better. Less in my classes opinion. overall. Yeah. Do you get to choose what classes you're taking or is it? Yes. High school there is pretty much like college here. You just have to fulfill some requirements and then basically just prepare yourself for matriculation exams, which you take at the end of your high school, at the end of your senior year. In the beginning, so there's two different matriculation exams that you take. One you take during fall and then one you take during spring. And that's what you basically prepare for throughout your high school years. I gotcha. Yeah. And everyone learns English there, correct? Yes. It's required? It's required. Required. Yeah. But you know a bunch of other languages, too. I do. Talk about that. Um, so I went to a language specialized high school in Helsinki, which made me... I, I was basically required to take several languages in order to graduate high school. So I took Spanish. I mean, Swedish was already required. Swedish and English were the two required ones since I was, like, from elementary school. Um... So I took, I've taken Spanish, I've taken two courses of Italian, I don't remember anything at all. I've taken a course of Latin just to fulfill my requirements, and I took French in middle school, and I don't remember anything at all from that as well. Whoa, so this was a specific school just for language learning? Yeah, a lot of high schools, I can only speak for Helsinki, that's where I'm from, but a lot of high schools in Helsinki are specialized in something. Mm -hmm. We have a high school that is specialized in media. We have high school that's specialized in science, math, um, some sort of language schools, um, PE, and mine was in languages. That's interesting. Yeah. And are these private schools or no, are they they're, they're pub all I mean, free public schools? Some of them are public. No, some of them are private. Mostly they are public. But it's not like... So you apply for high schools in Finland the, way, the same way that you would apply here for mm. college, in a way. You don't have a guaranteed spot. Okay. 
And high school is not required. It's not required? No, it's not part of a requirement. What? Up until ninth grade, that is where your compulsory educational years end. Mm -hmm. After that, you are allowed to stop, but nobody does that. That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> or you go to high school or you go to a vocational school. Okay. Yeah. And so there's kind of like rankings within the high school then, like some are more prestigious than some others, are more I'm guessing. Yes, exactly. But I feel like if you get into an, any high school at that point, you'll be at the same basis as if you were a candidate for college gotcha. or university in Finland. Gotcha. Yeah. Because, yeah, so theoretically you could join the workforce at age, what, like 14, 16, 16 yeah. but no one really does. I mean, I mean yes, some you do. people do that or not too many, I'm some guessing. Some people do that. Some people are not made. For, I mean, some people already know if they want to continue to high school or vocational school pretty early on. But if yeah. they don't, they just stop there. I don't know anyone who has stopped. Mm-hmm. But I believe, I mean, there's still a lot of people that do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have a lot of friends that you keep in touch with? I do. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Did most of them stay for college in Finland? Or? No, they're all scattered around Europe. <laughs> all around Europe? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have a few friends that did stay in Finland, but most mm. of them are around Europe, Eastern Europe or mm. Scotland or something. Yeah. But I guess the thing is, is if you're in Europe and you're studying in another country mm -hmm. it's is it that like the equivalent of being in minnesota but studying in like florida because yeah. some of these countries might only be like two three hours away or exactly. closer maybe so it's not too too much of a change i'm guessing mm, i mean it's still cultural change right. of course but no i feel like europe itself is just very interconnected like if you're part of a european union mm -hmm. country you're allowed to study in any other european union country as the same way as so a student who would be from that country okay yeah so I you don't need a that. student visa or any of that oh really yeah you can just go anywhere then. you can just go yeah. wow is there like a a popular spots in europe um i can speak for my friends a lot of my friends study in eastern europe because um, they're all in medical school. Okay. So I feel like for medical schools, hot spot is Eastern Europe. Is is like the college in Finland free? It is. Wow. But every college is free. Every university is free. Yeah, they're free. Wow. But it's 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 extremely hard to get in. Really hard. There's a huge okay. process, which is why I believe a lot of my friends have decided just to go abroad. What's the process like? So first, you need to have graduated high school and you need to have a matriculation diploma so that you've done the matriculation exams and mm -hmm. you need that diploma to show. Basically, technically, after you've passed your matriculation exams, that is basically your first degree. Like in Finnish, really? it's called Ulioppilastutkinto and that's a degree itself. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to have done that. And then you, there's entrance exams for a lot of universities as well. And their acceptance rate are really small not that'd be crazy though because compared to here where like college is so expensive <laughs> exactly it'd be like because i know even next semester i'm studying abroad in norway and mm -hmm. it's actually cheaper for me to study abroad there than it is here mm -hmm. and i've told a lot of people that and they think like that that's crazy i mean it is crazy it it's is like crazy. cheaper to go all the way across the country to yeah. like the scandinavian country so it's super cool that they do that because i know a lot of people want that here i mean i don't think we know like the costs of what that would be to get free college like in America, but mm -hmm. it's an idea you hear like thrown around a lot. Yeah. But w so what was like some of the cult, like huge culture shock you got like coming to <laughs> America? Um. Well, I guess the first thing that I noticed very much was that people here are just open, very, mm -hmm. very open, maybe too much open. Like, I mean, I remember taking bus on my first day of school in Minneapolis, you do have to take public transportation to get to high school. So I was sitting on the bus and then somebody just randomly sits next to me and starts com having a conversation with me. And that never happens in Finland. You really? don't just talk to strangers. People there are very quiet and mm -hmm. reserved and they have like this whole mind your own business mentality. So mm -hmm. they're just, I don't know, that was very strange to me from the beginning. Like people were really open. They were just smiling at you when you're walking down the street. I've never seen that in Finland. <laughs> never so how would you how do people uh meet new people in finland then? <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i guess like 
I mean, from like school or work, of course. But yeah. like, if you're walking down the street, you don't just start conversing with a stranger that you never met or okay. you never talked to, obviously. But I don't know. It was just like very weird. I actually went back to Finland、um, two years ago, and I had this whole like Minnesota niceness that I've like acquired while I was here when、mm-hmm. when I was going back there. And a lot of people looked at me strangely. They were like, "Why is this girl smiling at strangers? Why is she so talkative? Why is she so talkative suddenly? Like, yeah." That's really interesting.、Exactly. Yeah, I noticed that too, across、um, like different parts of the United States as well.、Mm-hmm. Like especially when I went down south once, I think I was in Texas. I noticed the same thing where, whenever I was in just like a gas station, for example, if there is like a, a te- person from Texas that was like standing next to me and we we're both looking at like the drinks, I remember. I remember like they would always say something just to say something. <laughs> like maybe they perceive it as awkward that we're both standing next、oh. to each other, you know. So they would just come up with some random things like, "Oh, like what kind of、yeah. pop are you gonna buy today?" or like just、That's... something random about the weather. And it's like talking just to, yeah. But it's not awkward for me. No. But maybe it's awkward for them、That's、to be next to someone and not say like have small talk. Yeah, small talk is not a thing in Finland. I learned that here and.、Mm-hmm. When it comes to like awkward silence or whatever, they love it. They love they awkward love silence. They love awkward silence. They love silence above anything. What? Yeah. Is that like all of Scandinavia, or do you think Europe and well, like it's we can't generalize all yeah, of Europe, of but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can only speak for Finland. I mean, I've been to Sweden a few times, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a Nordic thing in general. Like people、yeah. are quiet, reserved. Yeah. Do you think a lot of people say that like the whole Minnesota nice thing? Too, but what do you think about that? Because on the same time, a lot of people say that people here are like really passive aggressive,、oh、non confrontational. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I mean, I've noticed that at workplaces, you notice that a lot. Yeah, you do notice how people like sometimes say something, but they mean the other.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do notice that. But I don't know. I've never, I haven't lived in any other state, or I've never really visited any other state, so I don't know about that. Like、okay. if Minnesota has this like this concept that nobody else knows about, or if it doesn't exist in any other states. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. You're right, though. I've definitely noticed the in like the workplace specifically, because、um, I work at、uh, Caribou Coffee, and a lot of times like we have lots of tasks going on throughout the day, like cleaning. Making stuff, and a lot of times, if you ask someone, or I'll hear like my boss ask someone to do something,、mm-hmm. and it's okay to, if you're doing something else, to deny it. Say no, I'm doing this right now. Yeah. But instead of just saying no, people are always like, um, yeah, I could do that, but I gotta do this. Like they give this whole story, and it's yeah. Like, just say no. Like、exactly. you don't have to go into this huge like, um, but well, uh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. 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 I, that's something I've noticed about Minnesota. But had you had you traveled to the United States before、mm-hmm. moving here a lot, or how many、no. times did you come here before that? Once. Just once. And I was ten, eleven.、Mm-hmm. I believe I was ten. I remember coming here,、um, visit family, and I went to Ohio first, which is a little different from Minnesota. I did come、mm-hmm. to Minnesota then too, but、okay. it was it was very different in a way. Ohio just seemed a lot quieter for some reason. I don't、yeah. know. Yeah. I haven't been to Ohio.、Okay. So、I, don't <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I do know that they have a bigger population than here in Minnesota, but I just feel like it seemed quieter, maybe because we lived in downtown Saint Paul at that time,、mm. which is very busy in general. But yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know how Ohio had a bigger population either.、Yeah. I think that's how. That's how I learned English in general. I think because I was ten years old, and in Finland, you start taking English classes when you're in third grade, and that's when you're like nine or ten. Yeah. Um. So I came here with zero English skills, and I remember watching like PPS Kids and Disney Channel every、okay. single day. Really. Yeah, and that's how you basically. Were you here for a while then? I was、right. here for three months. Three months. Yeah. Okay, that's a good amount of time. Mm-hmm. So you didn't start learning English till third grade. No. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. And I've just noticed too, like, for me, it just seems like. European people are on another level of language learning、yeah. than people in America. Yeah, you、I've、easily require two languages if you live in Europe. You require to learn, yeah. You no, know, just you acquire fi- you like acquire languages, yeah. yeah.、Mm-hmm. I mean, I wonder what the average 
amount of languages like someone in finland knows but it's probably more probably than two, three, three, not four, two three three i would three. say like a lot of Finns know swedish and mm-hmm. english as well mm-hmm. so that would be three yeah yeah have you have you tried learning are you taking language classes right now this summer i will this summer you yeah will. but have you taken a language class when you're in high school here or I t- last year <laughs> i took spanish when i first came here um because i need apparently i had all my credits fulfilled for mm-hmm. college but a lot of colleges here need to see that i've taken some classes here yeah. in my transcript so my advisor did put me in a few classes and one of them was spanish mm-hmm. i hated it why did you hate it it was just like i don't know i just felt like i was in the midst of kids that were forced to be in that class right. like they were they were not taking things seriously they were like making yeah. fun of the teachers and then the teachers did not care at all either so that was like yeah i got out of that class as soon as i could right it was terrible yeah a lot of people say that the language education here mm-hmm. in minnesota and whatnot is kind of lower or in high school in general across america because yeah. you're not really learning it you're just kind of going to class short-term memory putting in some vocab but then like a year later you Mm. forget it all i've definitely noticed like since i've lived here like just the american society in general has this concept of like you could survive with english here so why the hell do i need to learn another language yeah Yeah. that's a very popular viewpoint exactly so i guess that really plays a lot within children's education as well yeah Mm -hmm. because in when i was in poland for example the people in Poland, um, you know, the main country is Polish. Everyone's required to learn English, but I don't think it's to the same standard as like Scandinavian countries because um, people, they had a very basic knowledge of English mm-hmm. for most people under like 40 or under 30, I'd say. But one of the things that I noticed there was they realized that outside of Poland, no one speaks Polish. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, few people do neighboring countries and across the world that are interested in it but they realize that they like polish isn't useful outside of poland so they have to learn english or Mm. german because they're next to it and whatnot do you think it's the same thing in finland i think yes and no i feel like language is just swedish is finland's official second language so you do have to learn that no matter what but when it comes to like learning any other language, I just feel like it's for personal growth and development itself as mm-hmm. a way so that you could, all, you know, not only survive in Finland, but outside of Finland as well. Because obviously Finnish is only spoken in Finland. Right. Um, but like Finns themselves, I can only speak for like, you know, Finns, Finns, like white Finns. Um, mm-hmm. They have like this huge sense of like nationality. Um, mm-hmm. So they do... Even if they had that sense of nationality, a lot of them do speak other languages. So it's not like as big as it would be here. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. Is there much diversity in Finland? No. (laughs) I mean, it's a small country Mm -hmm. in general. I mean, there's like six million people that live there. But when it comes to like diversity, it's getting it's getting there now. Okay. But when I was a kid, no, you did not see a lot of people of different colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's like the some of the stereotypes for Finnish people? Um, that they stereotypes in terms of like traits or, or like looks, because I know are people. Do you have a, something in mind? I don't. Well, I can't remember if. Um, well, like for Norway, like the stereotype is like tall and blonde, like blonde, blue eyes, blue eyes. Is yes. that the same? That is the same as well. I feel like that's for all Nordic countries. Okay. Um. Also, they're like love to love al- like they love alcohol like they drink beer a lot which is actually very much true they okay. drink constantly <laughs> 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 they get drunk constantly um also like quiet mm-hmm. i think that's a stereotype which is true in my opinion but i don't know yeah what are like some of the popular sports in terms of sports what's <sighs> hockey really yeah they're really good at hockey i did not know that mm-hmm. at all yeah they're really good at hockey. I mean, they suck in any other sports, in my opinion, but they're good at hockey. Do you think that's, like, the most watched sport? Yes. Whenever it comes to, like, world championships or just, like, the Finnish league, um, yeah, it is definitely the most watched one. Interesting. 
So f- with Finland being the size that it is, relatively small, the sports then are they? How do the leagues work? I'm guessing it's not just Finnish cities like it is in America. Is all their games like against other European countries? Oh um, no, they do have their own leagues. They do have their own yeah, leagues. Yeah, okay. even with soccer, they do have their own leagues. Um, they have a Finnish soccer league. Yeah. Okay. I think the Suomen Palloseura is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, Finnish soccer league, and okay. you know they do have like popular teams, and then like Helsinki has its own team, and other cities have their own teams that they play against. So yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So hockey is basketball popular there at all? I think so. I, I played so. basketball you when did? I was younger. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I think so. I think it's popular, but it's definitely not as popular as hockey. I think hockey is definitely number one. Is there a lot of uh, skiing and snowboarding places yes, there? I imagine. Yes, definitely. When we were in elementary school, once a year during winter, we would go to this place. It was required for us. It was part of like PE or something. Uh, we would go skiing once a year or was it twice a year i think it was a once a year but it was like maybe two weekends that we did it that's cool um so we would go to the skiing place and it was fun i got mm-hmm. lost once because <laughs> it was like in the woods <laughs> but it was fun are you decent at skiing now i i haven't done it since then this is like sixth grade but uh, i mean if i put it on i'll probably be able to yeah. remember stuff yeah there's not too many good places in minnesota but yeah we have a few small hills but yeah, that's really cool. I know in um, I have uh, some family in Upper Michigan, um, and there's some good skiing up there. And they were telling me they live in a small town, and it's required for every child in the schools to like learn how to ski. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's a requirement. They're yeah. like, yeah, like right next to the school, there was like a ski hill, and like that was their sport. And oh, that's so cool. They, like, imagine that having yeah. like, like classes. It few times a, a week. It was a required thing for us, too. It was? It was only during winter, and then it was only, like, for two weekends. But oh, we were also okay. required to learn how to skate and how to swim. Those mm-hmm. were part of our requirements as well that we used really? to do. So did you used to, like, play hockey during school ever? No, we used to just... Just ice I mean, skate? Yeah, it was mostly ice skate, but, of course, we used to have, like, if we wanted to have some fun during PE lessons, we'd play hockey. But yeah. No, I hated skating. <laughs> when I, was a kid. I loved it in elementary school, but then once I got to like middle and high school, I absolutely hated it. It was just like painful at yeah, that point. Yeah, it's tough. And it's cold and yeah. Yeah, my ankles hurt super bad after skating. Yeah. But so what's going on in Finland recently? Anything? Do you uh, still keep up with the news there? Or? I try. Um I know they had their parliament elections. Okay. Yeah, I got my uh, voter registration, whatever, <laughs> in mail oh, to really? here all the way to the states. Did you um, vote? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have time to go, and I feel bad about it. They have their European Parliament elections now as well this summer, and I got the voting slip for that one too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I'm hopefully try to do that um, this summer, but I did not vote for the Parliament election. I didn't have time. They mm. only really offered just a day for people outside of Finland to vote, and that's not really convenient for a lot of people yeah yeah interesting what's is there a lot of um i don't know i've read so many articles about like scandinavian living it's kind of strange but i noticed that there seems to be a very like high attention to aesthetic and like design Mm -hmm. i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but i've seen these you know magazines like home magazines yeah and there's a lot of things like Nordic style, and they'll show like some really nice looking yeah, coffee known. shop and like wood tables yes. and you know they're, what I mean. Yeah, I do. Like white clean mm-hmm. um, lines with wood, nature. Um, they're very much known for minimalism. So yeah. a lot of their styles are minimalist, and I think if I'm not wrong, Helsinki was like the capital design city of Europe. Was it for like? I remember I was there. I think it was like 2013, 14, something like that. So that was a big deal as well because they kind of really pride themselves of being ahead of the design game. Yeah. I guess, yeah. That's really cool. I know that um, Caribou Coffee, where I work at, is actually, they did this new store in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Um, They opened it up. I think my mom was the one who, who showed me it but it was like uh i think it's designed to be like i don't know if it was finnish oh but they have this like 
new design that they were showing. I'll show you a picture here, but I can't remember what they said, but they're something about how it's gonna, my mom went to this place and I don't know. This is what I think of when I, this is maybe just be like. That's the little rustic, all. I think. Yeah. That's definitely like when you go to your finished cabin, that's how it would look like. Yeah. Um, have you ever been to American Swedish Institute before? I think that's like a very nice representation. I haven't. I've been to um, the Norway house. But Norway house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, ASI is definitely a nice representation of what Nordic design would look like, I would say, especially their new building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Do you still um, eat any much Finnish food? Is that available here? No, or? I mean, I no, it's not really. I mean, I do eat. Remember how I showed you that picture of Karjalan Pirakka? And you were like, what the hell is that? Which one was that? <laughs> is that the cheese stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, it was like this. It's a pie. It's like this small pie that has rice filling. It's made out of rye flour, and then you put egg butter on top of it. It's like our donuts. Okay. That's our donuts that we see. We we ate that a lot. It's like 50 cents from like from your local store or bakery. Yeah. Um, so that was something that I actually ate a lot and I do miss. I made that a few months back Whoa. here. Um, I looked at like the small recipe that I saw online and it turned out pretty good. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. That does sound pretty good. Mm -hmm. Is Finland super expensive compared to here? Because I know Norway is. I think it is. It is. I think, yeah. Interesting. But I don't know. I mean, because I lived there, I don't I don't see the expensiveness that a lot of people do. But it's definitely, if I do compare pricings, it is more expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it depends, like, what you do there. Like, if you go to a local cafe instead of, like, high-end restaurant or something like that, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. They even teach Finnish here. I know. <laughs> At the university. I know. They do. Were they you have surprised a by that? I was. <laughs> when I first came here, I didn't even know Minnesota was, like, was populated by, like, s Nordic, sweet Scandinavian um, heritage people or something like that. I had no idea. Yeah. I came here, and I remember, like, you know, when you have to introduce yourself in classrooms and you do mention that you're from Finland, a lot of people are like, oh, I have a Swedish friend. Oh, I have, oh, my grandma is from Norway. My grandma's mm -hmm. Danish or something like that. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? And then I remember like, you know, I started working at an ASI as, you know, a year after I moved here. Um, so that's how I really noticed like there's huge population of Scandinavian people here. Have you met, so you've met a lot of people? I, d I have, yeah. But a lot of people of Scandinavian like, distant heritage there, more so than like there's mostly distant heritage but i do know like especially yeah i do know a few people that have like moved here i actually know someone who moved here from norway that i really wanted to introduce you to really yeah i think she's from oslo nice yeah that's cool mm -hmm. yeah i know we do this have you ever been to the holodazzle no it's uh, like a christmas event here in minneapolis and whenever you go to the holodazzle they have all these shops like or like swedish norwegian oh, finnish like like christmas, christmas market style? market stuff oh. is that like a huge holiday there yeah christmas is big bigger than here yes it's less capitalist i would say okay definitely <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's christmas not a million is... christmas ads <laughs> no. like everywhere i mean like, there are a lot of ads sales. and there's a lot of like but it's it's i feel like christmas in finland is just like it's a big part of their tradition mm -hmm. especially like Finland is a catholic country no it is a christian country i'm not sure if it's catholic um you you it's you you see it everywhere during christmas time but i feel like here it's mostly like presents and you know having yeah. a vacation from work yeah while there it's more like spiritual okay yeah still like the whole get together with family stuff though and exchange presents yeah that, all that takes happens place. of course yeah. christmas cookies is that a thing too i don't know <laughs> I, I don't celebrate christmas but okay. <laughs> I, like, I like always high schools i don't know i mean we like, i remember like there used to be like during christmas time right before breaks we used to have like christmas lunch or whatever in our okay. cafeteria and there was a lot of questionable foods there during that time and there's like a lot of what do you call latico 
oh my gosh we need to google this but there's like potato like you put in the oven thing whatever yeah. potato pie carrot pie okay um all those kind of stuff that you eat during yeah. christmas time and they're not one of my favorites special foods special foods. potato pies potato pies interesting i kind of like the potato i hated the carrot pie the carrot pie and there was another one i don't know what lantu lantu is but we have to search those and that was disgusting that was you had to what it, we'll search that okay. i don't know what the, i don't know what the english name for that one is okay but yeah Wow. It's a really interesting sounding language. I feel like all the words are like 20 letters long. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen like an actual like Finnish words written or like any uh, tongue twisters or? I haven't seen the tongue twisters, but I just know like whenever you see the, I don't know, just random pictures of the cities or something, yeah. it's like welcome into and then it's like this 25 <laughs> letter like city with all these like dots above the letters and i'm like what is this yeah yeah it's it's a it's a it's a it's 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 a unique language let's just say that it's very unique it's not it's nothing like swedish it's nothing like norwegian it's like on its own it's closer to hungarian is the grammar and stuff similar to english though or no No. not at all totally different so it'd probably be pretty hard to learn for an english speaker yes you do need a lot of dedication and motivation to learn it yeah yeah i would say that that's true Mm -hmm. all right well it's already been 30 minutes so i think we'll wrap up this episode here but this is a very good episode hope you guys enjoyed listening aisha is definitely gonna be back on the podcast at some point still lots to talk about whatnot Mm -hmm. uh any parting words um no you're doing a good job with this podcast i've listened to a few episodes and i really enjoy it so great job ben thank you i appreciate it All right. Make sure to subscribe wherever you guys are listening. Like the podcast. Tweet us on Twitter. Leave feedback. We like to know when people are listening. If you've made it to the end, that's very impressive. 30 minutes of (laughs) listening to us talk. But thank you guys, and I'll see you later.